it's here. Let's go. Hey guys, it's Zach back again with another video. So ever since I got the Canon M50, it's really brought me back to my original filmmaking style when I originally got the Canon T2i. I always really loved the Canon 50mm 1.4, the 50 1.8. Uh, the fact that you can get such an affordable lens and get that that amount of depth of field. Um, so nonetheless, um, I'm back on the Canon M50 and though I loved the 50, it was always a little bit too tight for my liking. So I've read a lot of blogs and watched a lot of YouTube videos and that's led me to getting the Sigma 18 to 35 1.8. So as you can see, it's got a really high quality build. It's got a nice black finish, and the key feature is that it's uh, an 18 to 35, and it's got that f 1.8 throughout the zoom range, which I'm super pumped for to go and test and get some footage and get some photos. So I think this is going to be the perfect lens, and the fact that it's also a zoom on top of it to me, it. I just look at this as, as a prime 35 or 30, but it also has the ability to zoom out to 18, which is going to be cool for, for if you want to do some, some wider shots or kind of some more vlogging stuff and uh, content like that. So I'm going to get some test footage, I'll play it next, and you guys can let me know what you think. Thanks. So first impressions with this lens, just shooting some quick B-roll footage. I can tell you it's super sharp, it's got awesome bokeh, and I think it's just a, a lens that I'm gonna end up keeping on my camera all the time. Cause that, like I said, it's kind of what I thought, that, that focal range of 18 to 35, I think it's just, it's the perfect focal range for, for what I like anyway on, on a crop body. And I think it still allows you to have that kind of that cinematic uh, bokeh. It's good for photos. And the one concern that I did have using a third party Sigma lens as opposed to a native Canon mount was how the autofocus is going to react in video. And uh, surprisingly enough, it's doing pretty good. It's just as fast as, as any Canon lenses I've used on on this camera body and uh, yeah the only the only comment is is the autofocus motor maybe a little bit louder in video so if you are using a shotgun that's directly on top of your camera it might be a little bit of an issue but if you're just doing videos where it's just kind of a, a talking head just just like this scenario here i think you should be more than fine so thanks for watching this video guys don't forget to hit the thumbs up subscribe and you can also follow me on instagram at film zach stay caffeinated and keep creating peace little short film behind the scenes here we're getting close we're getting close